part three of the Punish show and um, Aaron's stepped in. Coffee boy. This huh? is Aaron Coffee boy. Matt just said goodbye. He said stuff it. What are you going to say for yourself, Aaron? No, not too much. Pretty, huh? pretty funny there on Saturday, uh, Aaron, when I yelled out, what's that chick doing talking to you? And then she yelled back, I'm his mother. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually embarrassed for about a minute. Yeah, I think that you was were, like, weren't you? When did your mum have you? When she was 14? Like, what's going yeah, on there? something like that. She seemed a very nice, dolly young lady. She was. Right, so she I think that's probably the first time I've ever seen Glenn embarrassed. Yeah, her. it was actually, yeah. She said, I'm his mother. I went, <laughs> Never. Away. Yeah, yeah. Well, you time. did. He actually literally read away, didn't you? Just close your ears for a minute. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, alright, I'll shorten it. Gee, she looks like she's got a nice little body. This chick, what's she doing talking to Aaron? And it's your mum. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. And I usually bar him over thirty, but she looked alright. Right. Yeah, she looked a nice yeah. lady. Nice lady. And she embarrassed the shit out of me by saying she's a mother. But big hello to mum. Hi mum. Beautiful. Oh, Aaron's Hi, mum. Mum. What do you got to say, Aaron? What did you think of the weekend? Yeah, it was good. It was just as we thought it would play, kind of down the outside and then over a few jockeys overplayed and underplayed them. Mm. Jimmy up the inside. It's an interesting time for jockeys. Jimmy. If you yeah. overplay it and get too left or wait too long, you can't win. Yeah. And if you go too forward, you slaughter it. Yeah. And you, like, there's only two or three spots in the run that can win the race. Pretty much. I think it's a time of year where you kind of usually you just go, Jimmy, yuck, but he rides winners because he's not riding against the best. They're not all there. No, no, this time of year, Brent and Abdulla and... Uh, T. Clark is completely Clark. enjoying himself. Just like, they're, oh, they're, they're having a ball. They're yeah. making, you know... Look, he's riding a sense of occasion. This is unbelievable. Unbelievably perfect. <laughs> it, would, it, was, it was home nice and early, wasn't it? it was home um, early. Canterbury this week. Uh, the week ahead, boys. Canterbury. We've got Gosford, Canterbury, Kembla. Oh, Gosford, Tuesday. Kembla on a Thursday. That's Kembla a, on a Thursday. A good, a, good crowd a at Kembla on a Thursday. There's never anybody there. Yeah. On there. Yeah, but that's because... Oh, I'm sick. And then Saturday we're back to Rose Hill, Dallas. Yes, oh, sir. Rose Hill Garden. Newcastle might even get a meeting. A lot of meetings called off up north, isn't there? What's going on? Uh, like Newcastle, Newcastle's been trick. Now I know that they got the brunt of what happened last yeah. So yeah. we actually didn't get the most most of it. But still, and the really weird thing was that um, I got I plumped myself down at the airport on at seven forty. I get the scratchings. I got the scratchings for Newcastle, and then I'm looking across at Twitter and Matt's going. Great tracks we have, but uh, you know we've only left with one. I wouldn't say. I have. How blessed are we to have great race trucks? Uh, we got a heavy tan, and the other one's been abandoned. And, but I'm looking at Riser, and they're still calling Newcastle on, and they've given the final scratching. They've given the final scratching. <laughs> yeah, I saw yeah. that as right? well. It took forever to I say it's abandoned. And then I look back at Twitter and racing, and the racing is by stewards had called the meeting off half an hour before. Yeah. But Riser had taken on and taken all the scratches. You had to get the scratches in first. <laughs> <laughs> the anyway. made a good point. He said, we race at home on this all the time. Mm. Horses don't get injured. Mm. Jockeys don't, Jockeys get, injured. don't get injured. Because mm. they go slower. Everyone mm. rides more cautious. The trainers that don't want to run their horses scratch on smaller field. But we seem to just call these meetings off all the time. I know. We've, it's, it seems and it's starting to happen more and more. Yeah, I think, I think it definitely more. has. Well, do you yeah. remember three or four years ago when they called off those two Saturday meetings in a row in Sydney? And I, I sort of, before the first one was called off, and actually it was longer ago because I was working on the radio. It's so it must before EI. Five, five years ago. Yeah, it's probably before it. Right. It was a long time ago. Um, and prior to that, I just couldn't remember a Saturday meeting ever being called off. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, there they are. And it was sort of like, okay. It started then. Okay, this is, this, this is a new paradigm. Yeah, it started with the... Once Murray Higgs got on top of being the main boss. Give him a few years to be the main but boss. But is this a society thing too, though? Yeah. Everything's yeah, becoming softer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that's why he's, he's Bullshit, that. bullshit, bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. warranty here, warranty here. And basically... Horses get hurt more often on hard tracks, not soft tracks. Wait, wait. We're 10 years away from kids' sport being rugby league and, and, and soccer play in the summer. Because in winter, the, the whole season will be called off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. No, we're, aren't we 10 years away from not, not, not playing not rugby allowed, Not allowing them to play rugby league as a kid or something? Oh. All right. Let's just keep him in front of the PlayStation. Yeah. yeah. Turning him into veggies. But I mean, but I mean look, the real winners in, in, in this, this type of society are the middlemen, like the insurers. Because that's where everything is directed. It's all directed through. Let's take to the insurance. Saver let's bet. take insurance. Everyone yep. wants a saver bet. Yep. Yep. Ooh. No one wants to lose. No one wants to lose. Right. Therefore, if no one wants to lose, no one can win. So once upon a time, we had uh, families of a dozen kids. If you lost a couple, it didn't matter because you would lose a couple. It's funny you said that. One of my friends died during the week, and he, a big family, and he was the second one to go. 
sorry, about, sorry, but sorry about that. But uh, nowadays, like we've, we've almost moved into the let's just have one kid, and holy fuck, we are going to protect it. We are it, we are just it. going to like sit with that kid through the entirety of their lives. We're going to be that kid's best friend. Yep. Mm. We're that kid's best friend because we're back back then, so back precious. Fifty years, years ago, gone. you didn't know your kids' names. Johnny <laughs> needs some money for school. Who the fuck's Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> it was a better time, wasn't it? <laughs> It was a different time. It's better time. I mean, we say it's better because that was out there because we belonged to that time. It was a better time. Um, also, Doombin on Saturday, the carnival continues. It's going actually quite well, Doombin, isn't it? For, um, for yeah, it is. a track it is. that sort of had a lot of wet, ra- wet track racing. So well up there. So, oh, how good's it going? How good's Sydney going? Good ride of Sydney. Uh, so, Doombin, what is it? Oaks Day, BTC Cup, all that sort of stuff. The uh, Prelude to Stradbroke Day, which is already Stradbroke Day at Doombin, which will surely have a reduced flavour. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It just doesn't. So they're talking about. Um, I did see that bloody filly. Do you know this horse, Lumosti? No, it's. So it's one of two races down the straight since coming so. back from the Oaks. It's thirty eighth in line to get in, and apparently that'll get it in, isn't it? Right, really? but it, 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 it is just going like a bomb. A complete bomb. It's three year old filly oh, went yeah. to the Oaks. It'll want to be good to beat. No yeah, it won't be good zoom. to no, no zoom, but I mean, you know, there it is. Gay, no, gays, 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 gays don't go on forever. Funny race is Trevor. They've had thrown up some curly ones over the years. That horse up the inside at seventies, the grey horse, Linton. 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 Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of horses have come to the end of their preparation for that race. Mm. I'll be looking yeah, it's for a hard fresh staying time. Bit off. Moody Valley. Got a quick slaughter, Max. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Moody Valley Saturday as well too. Slaughters, horses. You have horses to follow, Aaron. Uh, horse to follow. We'll say Sabrina. I reckon run a cheeky race in the Bit obvious. He is a bit obvious. Uh, see, see the world had a very... I know he's getting old, but he just had that run of Joe Pride put blinkers on me and yeah. I'll run like a rocket. I think Coys will win again. Yeah, I we'll like Joe Step back. Connors, though. I like back in Connor's stable this time of year. Yeah, yeah, uh, I know. Four, that, 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 yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that, what about that horse? They have that they, type of horse. Look at the stars who was, you know, stru- struggling away, struggling what away. What about it? Away. Just battling away. Yeah. And there it, was, it wins the size and runs away from it. Huh? This time of year, the Connor stable always goes well because that, also the sort of horse they beat, buy, when you look at it, it's always a skinny, it's never Blunt. a. It's, it's never. Maybe they don't. It's never, it's, they're they're $30,000 horses, all of them. Yeah. Those sort of horses, well trained, go well this time of year. Right back in Connors. Well, can we say there's one of the worst sires you've seen? What, who's nah, that? No. Oh, what? Oh, they're always pretty. Oh, they're, 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 you know, des- yeah. desperate races. Unless, yeah. unless, unless the slipper winner's going through. The slipper winner goes there. The slipper winner. It's usually been at the stump for three months, my young. Yeah. Do they know what to do? Two? No, they don't. They, they fluff them up. Imagine being a horse fluffer. <laughs> But with the teaser joint, it can be yeah. Yeah. What do you do? I get some lube in my hand and I wank horses off all day. <laughs> it's an important part of the breeding operation. We know Girl the breeding is... Girl, I'll take you home. <laughs> get home the first thing you Just wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Slaughter. Come on, mate. Give us a slaughter. I want to go. It's time for Slaughter of the Quarter. Brought to you by lovely Lil from Upper Mayland. And Chinese Dave. Thank you, Chinese Dave. And Cody Morgan. Good man. <laughs> One point. They were easy, 3-2-1 this year, they put yeah. themselves, but they so won one was... point's Bad Jimmy. Bad Jimmy for sure. Yes, why not? Bad Jimmy on Beyond Thankful. Yeah. And, and Darren Flindell seemed to think that, that somehow Jimmy had taken a shortcut there. I didn't you know, like, oh, got up the inside. I oh, see so you disagree. I actually agree with that ride. Agree with the ride or agree with the call? Oh, the call. Oh, yeah, the I.e. Call. saying the Mirage, is cost, the Mirage is throwing the race away. And, and Bad Jimmy's yeah. got up the inside, but he's just done the rail. Just did, just Maybe settled. you should do the new ad for should have been the spec savers, Darren Sindel, because he's always seen the wrong ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, my mate Darren. Value added there. Thanks, mate. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I'll tell you what, this is dirty stripes. We need, keep, we need to bring back Sheen, don't we? Come on. Let's get some banners up, Dallas. Okay, one point to <laughs> bad Jimmy. Two to one owner. Two to one owner who just, just did nothing. Honestly, you know, for a horse that Rode it like she was back in Pony Club. Rode it like she was back in Pony Club. And, you know, and, and, she's, and fair play to those and putters And she should who, be who trying to freshen herself up now. She's going to a new stable. She's got away from the gay cloud. The dominant female. The alpha female. Alpha if you're female. a young person out there and you're going to be the next apprentice for Gay Waterhouse, <laughs> I don't think she'll ever take another apprentice on, will she? Probably. Oh. No, probably not now. 
put it. Her rep's too bad with it. Oh, not rep, but at the stage of where she's at. Yeah, because she's like five to ten years off retiring. Yeah. You don't need to take kids through three years when they're going to make six months. Yeah. Because that won't you know, sweep up the mm. sidewalk. Mm. And three points was, you know, picked herself on Sabrina, Brody. Good yep. on you, Brody. Dead set slaughter. Mm-hmm. Should, Should have been won. the finish. You only had seven opportunities from like the thousand <laughs> to the finish line to correct it. Yeah. But I still think he's a hot kid. I think he's a kid to follow. Yeah, I do think he rides well, but that was just... He's got a very good record on favourites, actually. Been watching a young bloke down south ride a few winners all of a sudden, come out of his time, definitely going to make it in his grade. Jake Kizik, strong, mm. got a horse home. Well, last... Wagga. So where, where, where is he riding? He rides Canberra, Wagga. Wagga gave him a good go, didn't he? Mm. Gave him a good go. He didn't really do much up here, though. You know, I'm just saying. That, that was he's, yeah, he's, he's, well, that's on tip. Well, he went better than who were the guys that came over from New Zealand. C. Dell oh, and... Uh, uh, okay. We've actually got Rory Hutchins, or whatever his name is, riding this Wednesday. At Canterbury. He's had a crack back before, hasn't he? He's back for Walla, yeah. They, ne- they, they never time. make it, because I give them a bag every time and they just shit themselves. Yeah. But I like bagging them. Well, what about, um, the, what amazed me was seeing Sacred Star in the Doomba 10,000. Do you remember that horse? Walla had it. It, yeah. won, it won at Newcastle at second start with C. O'Brien. Yeah. Over 1,400. And then it won at 1,900, coming off a Warwick Farm Saturday run into a mm-hmm. midweek 1,900. No, it was. As an early three-year-old. I remember it. Disappeared to New Zealand and it's back as a came back as a. Champion. What price was it in the Doomben Ten Thousand? Twelve dollars. Pretty sure. It, wow. Yeah. In, in, a, in a wide open market. Wow. Yeah. Right. Is that the end of the show? That pretty much is. Apart from a pearl. Oh, oh, okay. We've got anything? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm struggling today. No, we're so struggling. You got a pearl? Yeah, it, was the, it was the. It was the Matt, come on. I've got a pearl. You got a pearl. When you've got a big job. You got a lot of money. You work for a big Australian company. <laughs> Don't ring up radio stations and offer ninety dollars worth of soup to kids who haven't eaten in six months. You look like a fucking idiot, and you are a fucking idiot. That's Great my pull. Great job. See you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.